All right. Shalom, first and foremost. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh, Ba'ashem Double honors to the apostles and the elders of, of Great Millstone that, that grew well, and the salute and the shalom to all the Akin that's out here laboring and pushing his truth and all sincerity and in truth. All right. Um, this is going to be called, uh, might be called the rich man, all right? <clears throat> this is uh, Luke 18 and 25. It says, For it is easier for a camel to go through an, a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. Now, why is it difficult or why is it hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom? Well, let's get Deuteronomy 32. Uh, I think it's 15. Come. But Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked. Thou art, thou art waxing fat, that art grown thick, that art covered with fatness. Then he forsook Yahweh, which made him, and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to anger with strange con. Kind of, they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations. Uh, 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 provoked they him to anger. Right now. Uh, Jeshurun in the Hebrew is Yashawan, right? And I believe it means the first. Let's see. It should mean the first. Uh, up, uh, upright one, but I believe it means the first, though. All right. So. Now, wax fat means that Yahweh gave Israel whatever they wanted, man, right? He gave them whatever whatever they wanted, man. Okay? And what happened? Uh, Yahshua Allah, we, we went off and started worshiping other gods, all right? Let's get this. Right, because a rich man, when he has everything, all uh, right, man, when he has, uh, when he has, uh, um, when he has uh, uh, money, wealth, and all that, man, he's not focused on the truth, man. He's not focused on your Howard Bashim He's not, not, man. All right, man, because he's focused on living his comfortable life, life, man. All right. And always eating good, man. All right. And always wanting more and more and more money. All right. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say uh, the inspiration of this video comes from the Apostle, the Apostle Gabor's video he did called uh, The World. This, so like uh, um, the world, this world sees us as being unlearned and uneducated, right? That's where this, that's where the inspiration of this video comes from, okay? This is uh, uh, Proverbs 30 and 8, Rem kind of says, uh, remove. Far from me, vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Now, food that is convenient for us is our daily bread, man. All right, man. Just enough food just to get us uh, through the day, right? And the next day, that's it. All right? Say, least I be full 
and deny thee. Who say, it's like it, it's like it, um, and say, who is Yahweh? Or at least I be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. Right? So a rich man, he will be full, right? And he will do what? He will, uh, 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 he will uh, 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 deny the uh, the uh, name of Yahweh Bashem Shah. And who did that? <laughs> well, Nate did it. Kofi did it. See? Let's see. Okay, this is uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 10 to 12. It says, And it shall be when Yahweh thy power shall have brought thee into the land of Egypt, which he swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee a and great like, uh, to give the great and goodly cities which thou buildest not, and houses full of all good things which thou fieldest not, and dig wells which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not. Uh, thou it's like when when thou shall have eaten and be full, then beware, lest thou forget Yahweh, thy power. Kind of like it. Was thou it's like it. Then beware, lest kind of least thou forget Yahweh, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, and out of the kind of, and from the house of bondage. See. Let's get this. Deuteronomy 8 and 10 to 14. When thou hast eaten and art full, that thou shalt bless Yahweh thy power for the good land which he hath given thee. Beware that thou forget not Yahweh thy power and not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Least when thou hast eaten and are full and hast built goodly houses and dwell therein and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply then sluggy, sluggy, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied thine, then thine heart be lifted up and thou forget Yahweh thy power which hath brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Mm. Mm. All right, man. So it's hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom, man. Why? Because he won't be focused on the kingdom, man. Right? He's going to be focused on uh, living his life, life, man. All right, let's get this. All right, because what a rich man is going to do, he's, he's, instead of him using the world, he's going to abuse it. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Right? So the way the world is now, that's going to pass away. Right? And that rich man, he's not going to be thinking about that, man. 
he doesn't he's not focused on that man right he's focused on on abusing his world on he's focused on abusing his world man right and living his vain life man right that's why it's very it's very important to be content with what you have man All right, this is a uh, uh, First Timothy six and eight, and having food and raiment, let us therefore be content. It's so like it says, having and kind of having food and raiment, let us therewith be content. All right, man. So, so, so be content with what you have, man. Right. They say verse nine, but they that be consolated, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which which drown men in destruction and perdition. Right? For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. And pierce themselves through many, uh, through with many sorrows. See, so the love of money, man, right? Meaning what? Meaning that you will do some wicked shit just to get some money, man. Right, man. Like, uh, 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 um. Like uh, 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 drug dealers, they sell what man? Crack, heroin, right? They sell cocaine. Why? For money, man. Instead of them getting a job, they would rather do that. See. Alright, this is Proverbs 15 and 27. It says, He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. Mm. Come on, man. Mm. Come on, man. Um, Proverbs 22 and 16. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to conscious shall surely come to want. Mm. Mm. Proverbs twenty eight and twenty two He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that 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 poverty shall come upon him, right? Because because uh because that money that you got it will be taken from you. You see All right, man. Yeah, man. So this is the lesson, man. All right, man. It's just a real quick one. Well, let's get this. Uh, uh, 1 John 2 and 15 to 17. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. 
If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right? And rich men, they love the world, man. Right? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. Right, man? So, Jake, be content, man. Be content with, with what you have, man. Right, man? Right, so with that, I say, Shalom.